Hello. <laughs> Have I been talking on my own for a good 15 minutes? Can people hear me now? This is the dumbest thing. Like if it, if it actually, <laughs> oh my gosh, I started streaming from OBS and I've already like shown like inspiration and stuff like that. Um, but I guess it wasn't showing. I was, I was under the impression that hitting the start stream from OBS would, um, <laughs> start the stream on YouTube, but welcome everyone. Thank you for being here. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, we have 36 people. Um, tell me <laughs> uh, where you're from, uh, what you're hoping to see today and huge apologies for like this thing not starting. I hope that starting it from the software I'm using would also start it on YouTube. But no, I had to start it in both places. So yes, welcome. Um, some of the things that I said earlier is that there's going to be a little bit of delay when I probably ask things. Um, they, uh, I'm going to see things in the chat a little later than you are, um, <laughs> but it's, it should be fine. There's a little bit of delay, but it should be fine. So as you see, I'm here in Figma and I've got my references. So uh, maybe let's do some, like, let's check out who's in the chat for a bit. Let's enjoy your coffees. This is, um, let's see, 1046 AM PST in San Francisco Bay Area. Um, and nice, we have people from all over the place, Dubai, Portugal, Brazil, Ukraine, Canada. Oh my gosh. Nice, so many people. Well, hopefully this is not too bad for your uh, time zone. Um, I'm hoping to not have this be too long. And given that I already gave like 15 minutes of context that no one could hear, I'm gonna go a little faster and hopefully get into designing really fast. Um, context, I am building this uh, internal conference. Oh, hey, Turkey, Istanbul, London, Slovakia. Wow, there's so many people, lots of Europe. Awesome. I, for those who don't know, I'm from Italy, so I, I've definitely, I can definitely empathize, empathize with being in Europe and just listening to uh, San Francisco uh, time zone uh, live streams. I, I used to do that a lot. Um, wow. Oh, Sri Lanka. What? This is amazing. Well, so I get distracted if I read all of this. I'll, I'll just uh, read every couple of minutes. Oh my gosh, you guys are everywhere. If you can't uh, follow the whole thing, I'm gonna keep it up on the channel, so don't worry about it. This is not gonna be like an exclusive thing. You can only follow it if you're here live. I'm hoping to get this um, on my channel for people to rewatch, which is why I'm, I'm gonna try not to make it four hours because <laughs> that's gonna be a little intense. Um, but why don't we look at what we have here? We have Figma, so I have three views. I'm gonna have uh, Figma only, me only, hello. <laughs> or Figma only. Oh, did I just say Figma only already? <coughs> Let's say Figma me. That's probably <coughs> the most interesting. Um, okay, so context, better together. I am organizing this conference inside uh, Dropbox called Better Together Summit, together with a wonderful co-host uh, who is an engineer and she's, she's amazing. She's been leading the charge on this. And w this conference is happening at the end of March. <laughs> so you can imagine there's a lot of pressure and I'm really, uh, we're really trying to create all the things uh, before the conference actually happens. Um, oh, your audio keeps cutting out. Uh, wait, oh no. Well, hope it doesn't too much. But uh, so this conference is starting at the end of March. And so I need to put together a website. And as I said in my tweet, I'm really bad at putting together websites. So I'll show you where I start from. I usually have like my inspiration. So here's a palette that we decided we're gonna use. This is already um, set and we're just gonna use this. This is basically gonna be our main uh, background and this is our main text color. This is what we call coconut. And as you see here is like a, a little bit uh, paper-like color. Uh, and then what I have here on the side is the old page for Dropbox Home. And the only relevance for this is that since I don't do web, web design very often, I don't know what are like 
good sizes for like paragraph text or good sizes for a nav bar. So all those things I want to streamline. I don't care about like uh, looking it up and like figuring out what's the best. I just need to get it done really fast. So I just took the closest reference that I could find and being at Dropbox, that's like the easiest uh, one to, to touch. Um, like size of buttons and stuff like that. That's I don't want to spend time thinking about like should the button be 80 pixel long or like whatever. Um, these are some of the styles for the illustrations that we're going to use. We're probably not going to see them today. I'm going to try to do the skeleton and maybe avoid illustration for now. We'll add them later. Um, and this is like one of the days what the schedule looks like today. So I'm going to try to use some of these um, as like points of reference for uh, actual events to put in the in the document. These are like some text textiles that I can just copy and use. Um, I'm gonna try to not make it too like look too much like Dropbox. So this like let's start and see where we go. Like when I start a project, um, I usually already have a starting point. So this time is one of the few times where I'm just gonna take the desktop size, which turns out to be the same as um, what we have here. So I'm just gonna copy uh, the nav bar so that we can have, again, like a starting point. We're probably not gonna use the Dropbox logo, so I'm gonna take that out. We're probably not gonna use any of this, but I'm just gonna keep one of these things. Maybe make it auto, um, auto line. Oh, so many layers. I don't need these layers. Um, I just need these two things. So this is going to become an outer layout and this is going to be here, in my opinion. This could go, contents could go aligned to, oh, why isn't that doing it? Welcome to me trying to figure out how to do things. This is going to be that today. So. Be patient. Let's see. Why is it 10? No. Let's do that. Let's remove auto layout. When I'm stuck with auto layout, one thing that I do is I just place it manually where I want. And auto layout is smart enough where usually if I do this, um, people, uh, sorry, auto layout understands it. So maybe, maybe. Like this is aligned to here, let's say like 30. We're not going to use a very specific grid today. It's going to be like pretty much what happens happens. I'm going to have to refine it later. But see, this is interesting. It's a, it's aligning it here. Let me see if I do. Yes. So this is what I wanted. So that if I have more links, like this could be schedule. Um, if I have more links, um, I can just that and let me say another 30 distance for this um, no I don't need to get approval for this I am uh, the engineer and I are leading this um, this initiative of creating this conference so um, this is one of those rare situations where I'm the ultimate approver of these things um, and since it's not shipping out externally and it's just for an internal conference um, this is pretty much what it is. So this is probably going to be schedule and speakers. Um, and probably that's it. I don't think I'm going to need this. Uh, we'll figure out the style later. So I, I showed uh, earlier that I'm taking it. Well, <laughs> you guys were not there. So apologies for this. I wasn't like on my own doing this stream while no one was listening. But um, let me see if with OBS I can show you my Chrome window. Um, well, maybe not the stream stream. But I was taking inspiration from the Google I.O. schedule from 2018. Um, it's just one that I remember I liked really much. I like that the days um, have like a tabbing system. We're probably not going to be able to do that because um, I also need to build this in some sort of like Webflow or Squarespace, and since I haven't really explored Webflow that much, it would probably take me a bit too much to learn it. So I'm probably gonna go with something like just a, I don't know, like maybe just a scroll with 
Tuesday here, then I'm going to have Wednesday right after. We don't have nearly as many sessions, so it's going to be a little easier to parse. But I really like this and how it's uh, very minimal and you hover over and the whole thing um, gets selected. There's like colors to differentiate the types of talks and we have that as well. We have design talks, engineering talks and PM talks. So I could use something like that to differentiate the two. One difference is that I want to have the speaker names really prominent so that people can check out who's speaking because in an internal conference, it's very likely that you actually know those people. So you want to go and see if you don't know them, learn a bit about them. Um, because one of the goals of this conference is also for us to get together a bit. So um, this is one of the inspirations. The other inspiration is our Dropbox design website and how like it uses really bold colors and, and photos to uh, catch the attention in the hero section of the website. And then it uses some much, uh, you know, much lighter, much more readable um, format formatting for the rest of the content. So I also recommend this um, article. It's just a, uh, it's by Jay, who's a close friend of mine. And it's uh, about illustrating concepts, like for your vision. Uh, like if you're, if you have a project and you want to illustrate in animated, little animated things, um, this is perfect for it. Um, anyway, back to the design. Let's see. Um, let me remove Chrome from this stage. Okay, back to the design. Now, I I appreciate that these are blue and in Dropbox style. I'm probably not going to use Dropbox's styles. Um, I'm just going to try to do something a bit more, a bit closer to our outside brand than our inside product. So maybe something with, with Sharp here. So I think I'm going to try with this maybe let's copy paste the style and with this would it be helpful so question for the audience would it be helpful if i activated um like a little plugin that shows which shortcuts i'm using let me know in the chat right away so if if so i think i have it installed on this computer i can probably turn it on and whenever i press a button it shows you um yes i think i am recording the screen Oh gosh, now that's a good question. I, I think I am. I think it asked me at the end if I want to because it didn't ask me before. Uh, I hope that I'm recording it. Anyway, there's not going to be like a lot of really exciting stuff happening. So I can probably just do another one if it doesn't record. But let's see. So let me know if you want shortcuts. I see some yeses. Uh, so maybe let me find what is it called? Is it called? Um, yes, for sure. Yes, I'll I'll figure that out. Um, maybe I'll let's go on with the design for a little bit. Then I'll I'll take like a two minute break so that I can find this. You guys can like, I don't know, do whatever, go to the bathroom or get a snack, because um, I don't remember the name of the app that I use. Oh gosh, let me go in applications. Maybe because I. I've started um, doing some things on this computer. I have two laptops that I'm using for things and I don't remember if I installed it on this one. Let's see, it's a really, really neat um, shortcut app that shows you, mm, let's see, number, no, 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 this is not it. No, I don't think I have it here. Mm, that sucks. Well, I'll take a break later and um, figure it out. But for now, I'll just say them out loud. So, I th okay, we're back here. You'll see that this just became huge because this is massive. I don't need this to be 30. Um, I really don't need this to be 30. So let me get my references here. Um, let's see, this was like, how big? 14. So maybe like a 16 or 18 could work. This is really not a good way to do this kind of stuff. Um, so I don't suggest, I, if you do have a design system, please use that. Um, uh, what I'm doing here, it's just very raw since I'm, I'm just doing it for like a side project. So, okay, this looks a little bit more decent. Um, let's make the background coconut, like we, like we said. So maybe for this project, let me just, save it why not let's save it 
coconut. And then I'll save this. I mean, we do have them saved somewhere in Dropbox, but I'll save them locally for this. Um, text color. Uh, these are already saved. Great. Perfect. So live stream. There we go. Desktop one. This is going to be our home. And let's call, let's make this coconut. Let's make the nav coconut. Yes. And this one has some weird um, nav bar uh, shadow that I, I don't need so far. I'll just have a placeholder for some logo. Our logo is like a little big now for <laughs> better together as you've seen in the references. Um, so I'm just not uh, not gonna use a real logo. I'm just gonna use a square just to have something to anchor it there. And as you see, this is like aligning it to this side. So what I'm gonna do is these two become a group and um, let's see, the auto layout can be on these while this could be, instead of aligning it to the right, could be, what was it? Left and right, maybe? Maybe. And then this goes the other way? No. Mm. What if it's this and then it's become, oh gosh. I don't even remember. This is the thing of a live stream, you know? You mess it up and try to fix it. So to move faster, I'm just not gonna care about outer layout on the nav for now. And so what I'm using, I'm using spacebar so that it doesn't go in the group and it stays on top. So that when I move it, if I, if I click on it and move spacebar, it's just gonna stay in whatever place it was. I have this on my video for 10 tips um, on how to use Figma faster. This is just a life changer. See, like I got stuck for a bit and everyone can get stuck on things. And sometimes you just need to realize that, you know, the goal of this is not to do a perfect auto layout thing, but it's for me to create this website. So a uh, good question. Am I gonna finish it completely during this stream? No, I'm gonna try to get through the schedule page. Uh, which uh, I hope it's going to be the, the home page. So I'm taking this banner, the better together is probably this or something similar will be what we're going to have front and center for the conference, for the main home page. Um, I can imagine maybe a, like a big uh, bright hero banner uh, that is, uh, that is all yellow, taking these and pushing them down with command Oh, actually, you know what? I'll group them and push them down here. Let's see. I realized I put coconut on the frame. Wait, is this supposed to be like this? I want it to be here. Okay, great. And then this I wanted to have no color. Great. So now I can start moving these around. Uh, one thing that I want to do, since this is a PNG and I, I don't have the assets today, I'm, I will have them on Monday. So what I want to do is I'll duplicate this, get just the text, um, and maybe I'll keep this with just the illustrations so that I can move them around. Um, and like comment, and you hit comment and rotate. If you hit shift, it's just going to do it by, you know, big increments. And I'm just going to have it somewhere. But the goal is to call this like, this is called better together. So I'm just going to add the other part of the word, which is some other part of the sentence, which is summit. Um, have this be on top of the image. Bit bigger. Um, let's break this out. I don't care if it's um, a little bit out of proportions. Uh, again, like I'm trying to get it designed faster, as fast as I can. Um, what width are you designing for? Are you gonna use any grid? Good question. So if this was a website that um, we were gonna put on our like dropbox.com website, yes, we have grids and I would use grids, um, but I basically, uh, I'm gonna build this roughly this way in whether a, like 
a Squarespace or a Webflow kind of thing. So I'm, I'm trying to just like not use um, too many constraints right now because I'm at the stage where I don't even know what's how I'm going to build a website. So I and again, I'm not a website designer, so this is probably a very wrong way to approach it. Uh, but it's the only way I can do it really fast. Um, so I know the fingers are really, are, but I think they're really cute, honestly. They're a little, um, they're a little scary because like it's a hand with two fingers, but I think it's, I don't know, I think it's cute. Um, so let me see if there's some questions on technical things. How did you cut it? Oh, I just double clicked. So when it's a PNG or an image, if you double click, it just, um, it asks you, well, I think it defaults to crop, but you can... You can just yeah take the image and crop it and if and it retains the original information like if I double click here, I can see the rest of the information the rest of the stuff that I cut out, which is I think pretty neat um, and I just uh, it's just a really easy way to do it. One thing that I want to have on my homepage here is um, maybe like a little smaller something that says where it is and when it is. So it's going to be virtual and it's going to be uh, March 23rd to 26th of 2021. So you'll see this is already too big as text. Uh, maybe we can go down to like 26 or something like that. And I think if we had, if I had this logo aligned to the left, I would probably align everything to the left and just do this. And I, I guess I can do that. Oh, I guess I can do that. It's a bit of a hack, but if I cut this out like this and then cut this out, yes. You see, I'm all for hacking. Let's, <laughs> let's hack this logo. I mean, we're gonna get the left aligned one soon, but you know, we gotta make it work today, not Monday. So, Roughly, roughly aligning. Um, better together summit. Maybe summit could be down here or maybe here. Oh, I kind of like that. Again, I'm really bad at <laughs> graphic design, so don't take any advice from me on like how to like align things for them to be beautiful. I'm just not the right person for those kind of things. Um, so maybe this becomes a little smaller. I don't want it to be too prominent, but it could be, oh, maybe this is a little too small, 10, what? Um, let's do 20 and have it be somewhere here. Um, let's see, uh, have you been in any situation where you had to make numerous iterations to get PAM's approval? Um, it's interesting you ask, because actually at Dropbox, it's not like the PM, um, yes, I think it will be safe to rewatch, by the way. But it, the PMs don't necessarily have to approve. We PMs and designers work together on defining what the design will be. And usually I, you know, we collaborate on defining the PM stuff, like the, the data and like success metrics and all that. And like if a PM has feedback on my design, I'm very happy to talk about it and, and fix it if, if we all agree that it needs to be fixed. I think it's about it's about having trust in in your in your team. Like if a PM trusts you as a designer to do the things that designers are supposed to do, then it's a good relationship. You don't have to do you don't have to get approval necessarily. You work together, and I trust him to do the the PM things right, and he trusts me to do the design stuff right. So we we do have feedback for each other, but it's never like an approval process. Um, anyway, so this is probably the time where I would want to see if I made this hero banner a little too big or whether it's like too small or something. So here we're using, uh, for the Dropbox website, we're using a 600 plus 80 of navbar. What we know, what I know from like past stuff is that um, the usual cutoff that like the, um, what's it called? I'm blanking. Anyway. The thing where you don't see, oh gosh, this is so embarrassing. Anyway, you usually want to have everything that you want people to, to see or click on or for them to understand that there's something underneath to be above like 666 or 680 or it's usually around those numbers. That's the average 
height of a chrome or, or like a, a window, I guess, that people can see. So this is $4.99. It's actually pretty short, which is great. So I have space. This bothers me like a lot. Let's do 500 and this is zero. Great. Um, so let me group these two together so I can move them around a little bit nicely. I should probably have a rough guideline, which I'm going to steal from this. Um, this uh, has this stuff that I should be able to see, but I, oh no, it got stuck. Did it get stuck? Okay, layout grid visible. Um, let's see, does it, what does it do in terms of distance? 182 or something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to use that just in case. Um, probably not gonna be super, super relevant for me, but yeah, don't worry about things just messing up for now. 182 was the grid, so let me see. Um, view, show layout grids, show pixel grids, show rulers. I like rulers more than grids because I'm not really gonna use a grid, so I'm just gonna do Let's see, where is this compared? Can I measure? Can I measure this compared to the edge? 195, great. So I need I need this to be a little bit further this way. And an easy way, again, like a very hacky way, is like I'll make a square that is like 182. 182. And align this to the square. Great. Put it the other way and add another ruler guide. Oh, this is not, this is not aligned. And just align it here. Okay, this is, this could be helpful. I usually just don't do it again because I don't do web design as often. So I'm just not used to doing this, this kind of alignments, but I could see the benefit. Maybe imagine this has a like longer arm, <laughs> like a super long arm. This could be this way. Um, but let's start making the actual schedule because that's going to be, I think, the harder part. Um, I'm just going to try to get the text out first so that I, oh, so that I can, um, what am I doing? So that I can start at least creating like the lock, uh, the lockup of what, where the days will go, where the times will go. So we have three days of conference. So one is Tuesday. Um, Tuesday, March 23rd, if I think it's not very important the day, but actually maybe it's more, it's easier to read if it's like 23rd, Tuesday 23rd without like March or anything. Cause like they know when it is and when they come to this website, they're really trying to get to the links for the conference. So this could be one. Uh, way that we display dates uh, it could I was really into looking uh, if we can make it vertical like this like maybe it can stay here or maybe it's outside I don't know maybe it can stay here and it's like a block like a square well I guess a rectangle but that goes along Whew. that goes all the way down Probably not gray, but you know, but it could be like this, or maybe there's like an agenda. Is it an agenda or a schedule? Who knows? I think it's a schedule if it's a conference. Um, above the fold. Yeah, you see, like I, I literally like, I know what it's called and I blinked. So thank you. Thank you, folks. Um, Let's see, I probably want this to be a little bit bolder for a title, maybe, no, <laughs> too much. Um, this is the font that we use at Dropbox for like a lot of things. I think we never go above like semi-bold, so let me try medium maybe. Um, could it be like this? Like, is it too, yes, uh, what was it called? Oh gosh, I don't remember the names. Let me put the references on the other page as well. <laughs> Yay. What's it called? Pink Library. Great. You know why it's called Pink Library? This is a really fun story. When Dropbox had the office at um, 
So we changed office right before the pandemic. We got into a newer, bigger, brighter office that was like really nice, really cool um, in 2019. <laughs> and the one we were in before was like one of the most beautiful offices I've been ever in my life. It was really pretty. And we had a library inside it that had pink carpet. It was the most luxurious thing that I had ever seen. It was really, really cool. Um, many questions ask if this is going to be available later. My goal is to make it available later, but this is the first time I'm streaming in my life. So I, if there was something that I had to do before starting this um, to make this happen, I haven't done it. I was just hoping that they do it after the stream. They ask you like, oh, do you want to keep it? I think that's what it's going to happen. But yes, um, I'm going to try to make it. Like, I have no reason to not make it, to keep it up. Like, I, I want to keep this up on my channel. Uh, Keycaster, that's what it was. Yes, thank you, Peter. Um, and now that I have the name, actually, let me see if I installed it. I think. No, I have it on my other laptop. Uh, I'll, I'll take a break later and maybe... At 11.30 my time, in 15 minutes, I'll take a, a break and install it because I have it purchased. I, like, I have a license for it. Um, so it could, be, it could be easily done. So um, trying to get through this pretty fast. I, I don't want to waste too much time. Um, so one thing that I was noticing is that maybe this is a bit too much. Like I wonder if I just need to either move this to the side or... I don't know. Let me let me just try. This is where where things get interesting because I try to do it and then like that's where you see where things break and if things work or don't work. Let me just double check with my reference the sizes of text. Um, what is a good size for text? Like we have 14 for something a little bigger, 16, a title 25. So you see, like, this is the problem for me when I'm starting from scratch. I don't have a lot of reference on, like, what's a good size for titles. Like, this is 30, which is similar, I think, to the 25 that I was seeing there. So maybe um, I can do something like this, like, be already in, let's make this a little shorter, like, 450 or something like that. And then have... Because I, I don't have a lot of stuff in the hero area. And I don't want to waste too much time. Like, people are going to come to this multiple times a day to get the links for the talks. Um, also, I'm going to remove this. I'm not a big fan so far. I'll add it later if, if it feels right. Um, but let's start with this. So schedule. This could be the day, maybe. Actually, what if the schedule is the home page? So this is selected. Let's do that. This is selected and and it's maybe semi bold. Oh no, that's way too much. Um, it's maybe medium. Why does it change so much? Oh, because it's a twenty four. I need. It. Oh, I don't have the twenty. Oh, yes, I do. Great. Um, so maybe this is selected. Maybe it has an underline uh, of some sort. And I know there's like different philosophies here for lines. I know that there's people who hate on other people using a, oh, come on, using the line tool, the actual line tool for um, underlines. People freak out sometimes. Um, there's like some purists that think this should be a rectangle, like a one pixel rectangle. And I understand it because now, if I change this, it's not like it grows from the bottom. Like it's not super predictable. Um, let's use this color so they all match. It does this weird thing. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but I, I also hate it. When you make the path, it's in the center. Like if you hit enter and see the detail of the line, it's in the center and I can deal with that. If you exit it out, it doesn't take the whole thing. Isn't that super annoying? Also, you're all seeing like the top of my head because I'm like looking down at this monitor. Next time I'll try to put Figma up there. Wait, maybe I can do it now. Maybe I can do that. Yes, that makes sense. Um, 
So <laughs> that's actually better for my head as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was, um, I was like hunching down uh, just because, yeah, my keyboard and mouse uh, work are synced with my work laptop, and I didn't want to like unsync the Bluetooth connection and sync into this. So, but without wasting too much time, <laughs> um, let's go back to here. So we're in the schedule. This could maybe then be the day. This is Tuesday, uh, 23rd. I kind of like this better. The idea that maybe, so three levels of importance. The day is important, but it also like scrolls away when you, when you move out of it. I guess it doesn't make sense, but it scrolls away when you scroll. Um, and we can think of scroll behavior later, like maybe this anchors to the top or something like that. But the time, I think, is the second uh, very important thing because you're going to check that like multiple times a day to see, OK, what can I do? What fits here? And I was wondering if if it would be weird to have strokes, like maybe at 20 percent opacity or something, kind of like that that Google I.O. website I was referencing. I think it fits with our visual style because it's all like panes and blocks and, and things like that. So maybe, maybe it does work <laughs> and maybe this shouldn't be aligned like all the way there. But um, let's see, let's use a 10 pixel grid just for, for the sake of this. Um, and then this could be two pixel bigger. And then from here I can duplicate it. Um, oh, I know why I wasn't using that, the, the bigger display because there's a little bit of lag. I hate that. Um, but let's see, let's give this a try. So this is going to be like, uh, talk about something really cool. I have the list of talks, but again, like I would need to find the document, waste a lot of time. Um, so the talk could be here. Oh no, I don't like this where they're overlapping. It's becoming, oh, let's do solution for this is you take this and <laughs> You pick the actual, the color that came out of you making the 20%, oh, come on, making the 20% opacity thing. Yay. <laughs> and I'll do, I'll copy the style with option command C and paste it on this other one that is still using. Oh no, is it still using it? Oh, wow. I did it to both at the same time. Great. Surprise. Um, so let's move this up. Uh, oh, wrong button. Move this up to 2020. And where should I put the speaker? Like maybe underneath and a little smaller. Oh no, is this 19? That's not a fair size for text. Like it's either 20 or 18. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't do odd numbers. We can't do that. Um, so maybe 16 for the speaker. We're not going to have the description of the talk here, but let's say I'll put my name. Actually, I'll put my name and someone else's name because some of the some of the sessions have more than one speaker. So let's see how this comes up with um, my co-organizer. So if you have two, then I'll take these two. You could actually do really good things without a layout and these blocks, but I, I am, you know what it is? I am afraid that I will actually screw auto layout up and make it really boring for all of you guys. So, um, yeah, so I'm not going to use, I'm not going to use that. Uh, will you tweak the weights? Uh, will you tweak the weights? Maybe. I don't know. I kind of like. I kind of like that these are light. They're they feel like titles because of the font, but they are light. I don't think we're gonna have a lot of paragraph text. Um, so actually, this bothers me a lot. Let me make it yes aligned. This as well. It has a really weird size. Twenty twenty four makes sense. I should actually use, like we have an actual design system for this that I should probably leverage. But again, this is a Sunday, so we're free to do whatever. 
let's see, maybe, well, somewhere there. Let's see if it works. What do you guys think? Is it a little, is there enough difference between the title and the speakers? Maybe I should get the speakers further down or to the left, to the right, sorry. Like maybe it's here and it's another column. Secondary text setting, 50% dark. I like that idea. I mean, I think it's sort of doing that if you look at it from afar with the fact that it's smaller. I'm not a big fan of using opacity to change uh, the importance of text because then you risk making it not, like you risk making it gray basically and you might as well use a gray color. Um, but I guess that's a good point. We have gray colors in our palette. Let me see. This is the only one that we usually use that still is, let's see, um, still is accessible on white or on coconut, but I'm not a fan. It looks inactive to me. So I'd rather do like make it smaller and maybe I can change the text um, style to be like, maybe it's light. Do we have light? Oh, well, not this, this one, 20. Is it too bad though? Is it hard to read? I think it's a little hard to read. I'll figure it out. Um, I think what I'm looking for is like, uh, maybe I'll bold this. What about that? Because I don't think I can go lighter on this. I think it's gonna make it really hard to read. So maybe if I go medium, well, not the 24 again, like I don't know why this happens. What about this? Oh. This is nice. I think I feel good about this. I think I feel good about it. Yeah, try to bold the title link. Yeah, 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 I think you guys had it right. Yes. Um, now it feels like a little bit too far from the title, maybe. Let me see what, if, what happens if I like take all of this and just mock up you know, having multiple of these in a day. Oh no, what happened there? There. Let's make it really precise. Did I do that right? No, why? Okay. Uh, so the auto, like the sticky thing, it makes them one next to the other, which makes double the line. So I need to move it up and I can't use the automatic. Oh yes, it does. Great. Um, what do we feel about this? The idea is that the links of the people will be clickable. So these may need to be underlined somehow, like very lazy like this. Um, I don't want to make them blue or a different color because I don't want to give them too much importance, but I do want people to know that these are clickable and you can go, like if you click on the actual person, it opens up the speaker bio. If it open, if you click here, it should open up the talk brief. So maybe we can start thinking about interaction. Let me just um, figure out how to do the days for multiple days here. Like maybe there's like a change of color who maybe there's a like a day that is white a day that is pink library um, and let's see yeah I think I, I want to prioritize speakers as well I mean this is an internal conference where a lot of people will try will will be their first time speaking in public like I know it's not like in public public because it's at at a company you work for. So it's a little bit less scary maybe, but I want people to really um, like get to know who's speaking because they can reach them out on Slack like literally every day after this conference because we're all on the same team. Um, oh, this is interesting. You see, like this is the first problem. Let's see, what if it's a white? Oh, I kind of like this. I'm thinking to maybe keep these squares. What do you guys think about these? Yes, pictures of those people for sure. We have the, the good advantage of like being an internal conference is that I can access everyone's photos from like our internal, um, you know, like 
address book or whatever it's called. Um, and I can just copy everyone's photo and put them on this website. It's, it's going to be really easy. One thing that I'm not like super sold on and I would like you guys' opinion is this square thing. I think it fits with the theme of being like big, bold splashes of color and then like using these panels, like these rectangles to divide things up. And I can imagine like a hover state being hovering on the entire uh, block and that would put up, uh, would pull up sort of like, like the one I showed earlier where it pulls up the, the summary of the talk. And then instead, if you click in, inside here on the link, then it opens up the speaker bio. Um, I'm trying to think if I need more information. I, I have the time, I'm gonna need the link. So this is where things get fun. I'm gonna try to leverage Dropbox's library for icons. <laughs> yes, so I don't have to create them. Uh, but let's see if we have something for link that could work for us. Yes, this is nice and big. Um, Let's try a few options. It could be a few options. It could be like this. It could be like a smaller one. Um, probably like way too small, unless, I don't think people understand that the link is where they, they see the thing. So maybe it's a camera or like video, maybe video. Do we have an icon for video? Present, I guess they're not gonna present, but it's a presentation, so. Maybe, maybe this, this makes sense. There's like the bigger one, if we wanted. I think without text, people won't understand what it is. So let me give that a try with some text on the side. Also, we used to have, I think, different sizes for these icons. Where is this? Oh, this is what I need to do. Icon, I think, um, spot icons are big, are small, UI icon, and I think you can choose the size. Yes. What about the large? This is probably right. This is probably right, and then I can change it inside to present. This is a, you know, unique peek at um, what, uh, what's it called? What our design system looks like. Now, I don't understand why it's red. I think it's some grid that's showing up. Yes, layout grid, great. I like this size. I think it could go well with one of these um, formats of text. Uh, could say um, link to the talk or go to talk or something like that. Mm. I don't know, maybe tune in. I'll fix the text later. And maybe we don't need the, te the text. Maybe it's in the... Yeah, our icon kit is like all totally custom. So it really looks really cool. Um, uh, but let's see, is there any other comment? Maybe just lines in between the topics. I like the concept of lines as well. So maybe I'll go for lines. I wanna experiment with that maybe a little bit later. Um, let's see, the size of this text is way too big, so maybe 14. Um, let's make this shorter. I don't like this tune in, like what does it even mean? No. Link to join or something like that. Or maybe you don't even need, maybe it's a join without icon. Hmm? We could use icons for like differentiating maybe between talks and panels. And this is like just a join link with maybe an arrow. Hmm. Let's see, inside here, I know we have an arrow somewhere. Yes. What do you guys think? It's, it feels like it takes you to a next step. So we would need to figure out maybe, maybe like, oh, what, wait, messing it up. Um, let's go back to the layer style. Uh, welcome to everyone who's just joined. We're designing a um, events page 
for an internal talk, an internal conference with like a lot of talks. So what if it's this? And then it's just another square here. Maybe this shows up on hover. Ooh, yes. Yes, this could show up on hover. Oh, these are not all aligned. Oh, <laughs> they're not aligned to the... Oh, well, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, again, welcome everyone. We're trying to um, really play out with this uh, event schedule page. I want to get to the, at least like the interaction on this page. We probably won't get to the speaker bios page, but that's fine. Those are probably very simple, like just a, you know, a photo name and description of the person and you just put them in alphabetical order. I think that's probably what's gonna be. And then clicking on the actual person takes you to the right level of scroll within that page. I think that's how we can do it. Um, so I wanna focus a bit more on this page, which is where I want to maybe try to prototype the interaction, maybe. I haven't used the new, um, which I, again, like I'm really excited about. I haven't used the new um, uh, variants, like interactive variants, which, you know, we could try today. Could be like a good, a good way. Like maybe this is one component. Okay, this is gonna derail a bit, but I need to try it. So maybe this is one component. Oh, come on, you need to scroll, okay. Uh, let's move it here and make it a component and call it um, event, actually talk standard and then duplicate, well actually not even duplicate that, but I'll take this one. Oh, come on. Take this. This and this. Oh, I guess I can do this. Yes. Copy. Paste it. <laughs> um, let's get rid of this for now. But let's group all of this together. Make it a component and call it talk hover. I should be able to get the two combine as variants and say prototype. So let's learn together because I haven't done this yet. I've seen a lot of stuff online of people trying it, um, but let's see, while hovering, change to hover, great. And instant, that works for me. I guess this should be enough for us to try it out. So let me just change this to, ooh, no, no, what am I doing? Okay, this, okay, paste. Of course it pastes it like in a random spot. Um, yes, and then let's, let's try and see if it works. I've never tried this. Yes. Yes, this is, so I can put smart animate so that it starts, it comes from this side, but this is really amazing. Um, I like this interaction. Maybe there's like some colored hover state, like if, it, if it's a hover on the whole card, maybe it's not the join. Uh, let's do, let's do like this, that if you hover on the whole card, it takes you to this that doesn't yet have this. Or maybe that has it here on the side. And this goes all the way to the edge. So if you're not like envisioning what I'm trying to do yet, um, no worries. What I'm basically trying to do is what if I on hover make this whole thing like fill with like some, I don't know, like really light gray. Should it be based off of, yes, should be based off of this, right? Or maybe if it's transparent, it's not too big of a deal. And then when I actually hit, um, oh, 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 I know. When I hit this area, let's, let's see, let's do this one. And then 
I'm duplicating the square so that I have two separate ones. I'm just going to put no stroke on the small one and make this bigger. Again, like with the transparency, it's a mess. So I'm going to change this to instead of transparent to just pick whatever this color was. Oh, I should do that actually on here. Whee. Sorry, this is going to look messy for like five seconds, but I'll fix it. Um, so I'm just going to need to pick the color. Great. The solid color. Now I can move all of this back. <laughs> Anxiety. <laughs> Am I going to be able? Yes. To move it back. <laughs> Great. Um, you'll see that this is on top of everything. So I just need to, I, I just do command open square bracket to move it back. Um, and I guess it's not moving back enough. I should move it further back because the text disappeared. Uh, up here. Yes. And then I make this the same color. Let's see if I can make this all work. And then basically get copy the style for this to this. Oh no, what's going on here? Oh, the stroke is inside. Let's do outside. This is going to mess up some things, but I'll fix them later. Uh, no, let's not do that, actually. Let me make this smaller. I don't know if you're trying to see what I'm trying to do, but I'm basically trying to... Oh, gosh. I'm trying to say when I hover on this little square here, I want this join thing to come in from the side, and I have it here ready, basically. Um, but that means that I need this square to like go all the way here. And I'm going to need some sort of mask here. Clip content. Let's do this here as well so that I don't see it like coming from the side. Maybe, maybe this works. I guess this needs to go underneath so I can see the text actually. This would be, yeah, pretty good. Um, let's see. Question regarding the join link. What should be shown for expired events? Great question. So um, we are gonna we, we're still in the process of figuring out if we're gonna have one link for everything or different links for different things. And I think eventually after the conference we're gonna have recorded sessions. But right after a session ends, I don't think we're gonna have that. So the link may need to just take to the same place and just give you a screen with something like this talk is over. Um, but, oh, yeah, no, it doesn't, oh, I didn't connect the hover. So this, where is it? Oh, this square here. Okay. Let's make this, um, interaction be on hover, on hover, change to Variant three, which I should give a name to, and I'll do smart animate. Let's see if it works. Oh, there's something weird happening, but it's kind of what, like this area is good. There's <laughs> two rectangles moving around. I'm not gonna fix this today, um, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it could look as interaction. Um, I'm going to do it directly on um, whatever tool I use to build this website. So um, if I can't get this interaction done, I'll just have this uh, be always present and it takes you to the link. Um, I think we're in a good spot. So maybe let's move on. We've, we've seen some of the interaction. What happens at least on hover? What happens on click? So let me duplicate this or actually one thing at a time. We decided we were gonna finish this page. So this is gonna be Wednesday. Is the zoom okay for you guys? Cause I tend to work at a really like zoomed out view. I don't like working super zoomed in. Um, but if you guys can't see, I mean the text is not really important, but if you can't see things, I can try to change the resolution of things. Let's see, uh, Wednesday 22nd, no 24th will be. Uh -huh. 
maybe let's get back into design mode. What do you guys think about these lines? I've asked you already before. I think someone said maybe we could have divider lines. Um, can someone also like share their opinion? Like, I think it looks great on white. I'm not like a super sold on pink. Like maybe, hmm, Ooh, what did I do? Maybe it could be like, again, opacity pink, like opacity white, sorry, like opacity down, but then actually let's do, let's start from pink and go to something like this, maybe. Cause I don't want it to be super visible. Maybe it's like, yeah. Like a light pink. What do you guys think? Oh, someone is, is saying to look at Google Fonts for inspiration on their hover effects. I remember I really loved the Google Fonts website. So let me take you with me, adjust like what you can see and take you on Chrome and see if we can check out um, Google Fonts. I remember I really liked that. That's a really good tip. So, oh yeah, I like how they use, yeah, you see like they use these boxes. This is nice. They use a lot more rounded things. At Dropbox, we don't do rounded corners or rounded anything. We don't do shadows. So I'm not gonna use necessarily like all of this, but I like, I like this. Let's see, ooh. Yeah, I mean, I like Google's aesthetic in general, which is why I really like this Google I.O. inspiration website, which <laughs> hasn't loaded. Um, let's see. Yeah, you see like here, if it keeps loading, like it has this very, I guess this is where I took inspiration from this, from the boxes. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> um, this is how my mind works. Like I see things and then they become mine in my mind. But no, I, I just took it from somewhere, you know. Um, this is also neat. Um, yeah, gosh, this is really slow. The streaming, all of this is really like having a toll on my laptop. I probably need to plug it in. I don't have a lot of power left, even though it's plugged into like this monitor should actually bring me, give me power and put stuff on the screen, but it doesn't do it as fast as an actual charger. So I now max out all of my USB-C ports. I can't add anything else. Um, but yeah, I really, I really like this. And I like how it's all, you see like we were talking about um, making things grayed out. I like that they don't gray out things, text to make it less important, but they only use a different font or a different size to make it less relevant. That's really something that I, just in general, like to do i i avoid just making things like 70 percent transparent or like gray unless they are subtext that you really like don't necessarily need to check um so like yeah let's go back to figma and let's just make it so the days are pretty long so i'm not gonna necessarily mock up the whole um day with the actual events i'm gonna do this when you guys are not here so i don't spoil the names of the speakers um uh, let's see. I still want to keep their privacy somehow. Like I, they, they do show in some of the inspiration uh, things that I showed. But so here, this is where I. This is one of my problems with web design. Everything is. Oh gosh, what happened? Oh, I know what happened. Let me. Okay, undo enough, and then I need to hold. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, so this is what I hate about web design. Like, I feel like every website, how they work is there's a splash of color, there's a white section, there's a color section, and then there's like another, like either light white section or um, another like bright color section. And I don't really know how to deal with it. I, I just don't like it as much, but it's effective. If I put, um, if I put too many, you see like color after color is kind of weird. Maybe, maybe it's not, maybe it's all in my head, but it will be four days. So maybe um, Thursday, 25th. 
So maybe I can do color, then coconut, and then color again, maybe. I feel like that's what everyone does. Again, I'm not a big fan, but it, in this case, it helps me separate the days very well so you know which day you're looking at. And I only have three colors, so I can't like do <laughs> each day has a color because I'm using the yellow here. Um, but yeah, I could definitely do like this for Friday. Friday only has a few events, so it wouldn't even be too, let's say, too, too much in your face because the light blue is like a little intense for a background color. Let's see. Light blue. Is it called light blue? Let me search for brand colors. No. <laughs> Pink. Library. Do things not... Wait, they were showing up. I just need to scroll down, I guess. Okay. What's it called? Cloud. Great. You see, like, text is not super readable on this. At least in my opinion. Let me uh, pull up the chat again. I, I'm missing your comments. Um, let's see. I just want to see some of your suggestions because it's something that I can't get away from, like these blocks. Um, the divider lies are sitting right for me on pink. I agree. Like They look good on white, but on pink, it, there's something wrong about them. Um, it should be light color of pink. I think that made it a little bit easier. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think it's, it's strange that it starts with white. I can see that. I can see that. But if I want to use a bright color for the hero banner with like better together, I'm in a really bad spot to use something else. Because if I use pink right after, I feel like it's, it's a little too much. It's like it doesn't give you time to breathe a little bit. But maybe I should just do all days are, like all the schedule is white. Like it feels like it's a lot more readable. Tab base selector at the top. Yes, I would love a tab base selector. I don't think I'll be able to build it in time because I, I need to also build this website and not just design it. And I'm not a, an engineer by any means. So I'll probably do something dumb like Squarespace um, or like some sort of website builder. If, if I had invested in learning Webflow, I could have done the tabbing thing with Webflow, but um, I also need to consider that I have very little time to build this. Um, let's see. Mm. I know tabs with Webflow is that easy. For me, it's just the web, I've, I've only used it once. And so I feel like I'm gonna need at least a weekend to get up to speed with like how things work in there. And I, I need to make, have it ready by Tuesday. <laughs> So, yeah. um, I really don't dig the different colors of the day. I know. I mean, it's, uh, I'm not a fan either. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. And it's, uh, I think it makes it a little hard to read. I wonder if I should separate, like we're not doing like actual Dropbox, um, colors. Like this is not going to ship outside. So maybe I can change the color a bit. And like make it something a little li more readable. But I don't know. Maybe I can just have a divider. Like this block could just be for the day name. Oh, this is not like a bad idea. This is where like I'm just trying things out. And it's been like an hour and a half. I feel like we've done some progress, but... What do you guys think? Like, I feel like I need a break from one day to the other so that people see the break. And um, that's not bad. What do you guys think? Like, if I had this for Tuesday as well. Yeah, I see. Like, yeah, Christoph, I think you're writing the same thing that I've done. Um, but given the delay, I think we've thought of the same thing at the same time. I think this is nice. And then maybe I could use illustration, like, somewhere in this little banner to to make it like differentiate it yeah thick line on the left side i also like that so that's something that i was trying with oh gosh keep showing up that i was trying with this so let me just duplicate it because this is becoming a mess but if i do let's say i don't do this but i do 
like a thick line that I had here. Uh, here. Also, don't worry that the lines here are pink. It's, it's okay, like I'll change them. But maybe it's here. Like, uh, who was saying this? Mm. I really want to give credit who, to who suggested this. I can't find your comment anymore. Anyway, you know you said it, and I actually like this idea. What do you guys think? Divider or like a big line that basically highlights what the day is? Like this is the pink day, and so I know that I'm always on this. I think it may look selected, but that's actually right, because if you're scrolling to this moment of the event, you are basically selecting this day. I don't mind that. Um, yeah, like people are saying, try the pink vertically along the left side. I, I think that's, that's interesting. Yes, I think the show extend, so I, I love the show extend. We, we work with paper at Dropbox, which is just a text editor that allows you to, whenever there's a header, to collapse it and expand it. And I love that. If I can make that happen in Webflow, in, sorry, in Squarespace, I'll, I'll make it happen. I think that's really helpful for you to like not have to go through Tuesday and Thursday and Wednesday when you need to see just Thursday's schedule. Um, Mm, let's see. Yeah, no, a lot of really great ideas, you guys, about interaction. What I'm limited by here is, um, yeah, I see that people like the left side. I kind of like that too. Um, well, I'll have both here and then I'll make a decision eventually, but we have three colors and four days. That's maybe the only problem. <laughs> um, so I can do like maybe pink here since I don't want to do yellow because you have yellow right above. So maybe I'll do pink here. And um, let's see, maybe the cloud color could be here. We could bring in extra colors. I just don't want to step over the brand designer that chose the colors because um, that's kind of their job. Um, but this could be the banana. That would be that would be cool. I just need a fourth one. Maybe the last day. Ah. Oh no, I don't like this bold color, like this blue. I think we all agree that the blue background, no, doesn't work. Um, you have any more iconography illustration? Yes, I have, a, I have like literally 15 illustration of this style that I, I can't show you because Figma doesn't let me import PDFs. And they're still in PDF. I'm gonna have the PNGs tomorrow because you know, no regular person works on a Sunday. So the designer will send them out tomorrow. Um, but I think I'm struggling here with like, what's the next color? I can just maybe think of another color. Let's see, something that still gives that vibe of like fun, but light color, maybe the violet, something like that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm literally crowdsourcing my work right now. Thank you guys for all the feedback. Um, yeah, it seems like everyone is liking this left side. I, I will probably show both to the team tomorrow so that they can also give their input. But I don't mind this one as well. Like, just a... I think the line, what it does better is that if you're, like, let's say, on here, you don't see the header, you don't see the end of the day, this still tells you that you're in the same day. While if we had this only, once I scroll past this, since there's like a bunch of events, I may just miss which day I'm on. Unless I use actually these squares, <laughs> like these um, rectangles, instead of gray, make them actually the color of the day. But I don't know, I kind of like the gray ones on coconut, which looks nice. Um, Dark colors, so oh, this is a good topic. I, I don't think I want to do dark mode for this event, like something dark, because a lot of the colors are just fun, playful. Uh, the illustrations you see, they're like almost like hand drawn. They look like made by by a kid. They're very simple. So I don't think I want to bring that vibe of seriousness that the dark mode brings, or like that a dark color brings. 
that said, I'm definitely not like a graphic designer or a visual designer, so it may be like totally wrong. But I feel like if I bring something dark, it's gonna make it like a little bit more serious. And this is really a fun conference. Like to give you an example, one of the social events that we've booked, it's a farm tour. <laughs> We're gonna like have someone show us goats and, and cows for a social event. It's gonna be so fun. Um, yeah, horizontal lines are bad for lists. I know, like I, I think I agree with, with all that you guys have said, this like zoomed out view looks great because it gives you separation. But when you're like actually at 100% size, like scrolling through this, you lose track of where you are if you, if you lose the, the divider. So I kind of like this. Maybe I'm going to make it smaller. Like maybe let's play with the size. One second. Oh, no, wrong. No, wrong. Uh, okay. And what if it's like this? Again, I, I look at things very from very far, but I always need to remind myself to look at these like 100% with maybe without the thing there yeah so if this were the website that wouldn't be bad i probably i still need to work on the hero the hero is terrible you guys i'm sorry it's like probably this should be a little higher up i need to figure out what happens with a nav bar does it stay yellow probably um but i think this page is like in a good state i think it's in a good state um, let me save the color of this border with like border, easy. So I can apply it to all of these. The way I do this, like I don't mind if it selects all the other things. I'm just going to take this light pink and change it to, how do I change it? No, can I change it? Is this a limitation of Figma? Like if I click here. I can't choose like a, oh yes, local colors, thankfully, great. Um, yeah, so I think this works. I like the interaction, I like the hover state. I'll just spend maybe some time thinking about what a modal for the talk summary could look like. Maybe it expands. So let's think of some interactions. I'll just take this, um, put, put it here and just like, think about it outside of the page. So this could be the default. Um, oh, I like how you guys are giving me like literally the hex codes. Um, I'll try them. I'll try them later. I feel like I, I've, I've seen it too late. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Um, but so let's, uh, this is how I just organize my thought. This is like the standard view, standard view. If, um, Let's say this is an option where you click and it expands. Maybe it becomes something like this. And see, this is where I give this suggestion to myself and to people all the time. If I had used auto layout from the start, I would not need to do this mess. So you know what? I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do out a layout in the component. Well, let's do it another day. <laughs> well, um, it's going to take me too much and I don't want to bore you. Because like when I do out a layout, I, it's just a trial and error for me. I just make mistakes and, and like undo things, which is not fun to watch. Like it, it's just a waste of time. Um, let's see. Detach and... Let's make this a summary, like maybe it's not medium, but it's book. Yes. Oh gosh, every time. Go to 20. Okay. And then I'll move my name down here. This and this can just do it this way. I'm not going to worry about like all the components that I left, out, left outside for the hover state. That's okay. Um, but these could be aligned to the bottom. This could be maybe a little smaller, like 18, and be like something about this talk that describes what 
the speakers will talk about. I mean, summaries will be much bigger, so I probably need to take this and <laughs> duplicate it um, multiple times so that I can get an accurate text size, maybe three times. Yeah, and then something like this. This could be one interaction. Um, so yeah, good question. Like, is it gonna be a new page, a link to a new page or a model or like, I'm trying to see what if it's uh, like, you click and it expands or what if, um, let's see, sorry, I'm just like making these bold so that I don't think that they're part of the interface. It's just a thing for me to understand. Um, this could be one interaction. So option one could be you click and this card expands in the same place, basically. Uh, do I have a, maybe let's do a smaller, with smaller line height. 1620 seems like a good combo for size and line height. Um, can you add some profile pictures at the bottom? I think the profile pictures I'm gonna add to when you open the speaker page, like the speaker bio, when you click on the name. Um, I want people to choose based on the title and the description and not on the person because I don't know if this happens to your companies as well, but sometimes there are like people at the company that are maybe very well known and I don't want that people will go and listen to that talk because that person is like well known in the company. I want first time speakers to have the same opportunity to receive like engage engagement during their talk as like experienced speakers so I think I'm leaning towards um, having photos just when you actually go into the person so this is a little bit too far from the title maybe it's something like this so this could be one I'm not a big fan like I think there's still something wrong about this maybe I could change the font to what we use for copy like something like this, maybe. That could be, this could be option one. What if we then instead, option two could be, it opens up a model. So like some of you said, this is like option that you click on this and it opens up a model. The model could be, you know, like, a, again, like a very simple, like rectangle on screen. I think we have a component for model that would make my life easier somewhere, maybe. I know we do, I just don't know. Uh, these are like old things. Yes, dialogue, that's what we call them, not models. Let's see, is this, pure? yeah, more or less like the size of uh, one of the models we have inside Dropbox, maybe like even a little larger. And you know, this is like the style that we use at Dropbox, but you can imagine like uh, this is like the talk title, this is like the talk description, and we could have a, oh, why is it, no, it should be, oh, because it's a component, let me detach, people will hate me <laughs> when I detach, uh, but yeah, like this could help me do, like have the speakers, I mean, this is a totally different style because it's what we use inside Dropbox, so I'm, I need to update, but update that um, but let's see if I copy this into here maybe let me make an auto layout out of this too and give some space in between um, yeah something like that um, And then the actions, do we actually have actions if we want this model? We probably want a way to close it. So I will probably need something like close um, and something to join. Actually, maybe this is join. And I want this to be in the same style that we had here. Sorry, Dropbox, because these are like the buttons we actually use in product. Again, um, maybe people will get mad but that's fine. Hmm. 
I want this to have the same stroke that I gave. Yes, let's do this. And then this becomes one of the ones without anything and no underline. Join and then I'll add a arrow icon. Let's see if I can put it inside this auto layout thing. Oh, come on. Is it part of this? I want it to be inside the buttons. Oh, it's a component, that's why. Detach, aggressively detach. Here, no, this way, yes. Join, um, what other action? We probably don't need another action. Oh, uh, this could be outside stroke so that it's not entirely visible, but it's just divided. Maybe the whole dialogue could have a stroke. Yeah, I like the, the thing that about dialogues with strokes because the rest of the website has that. So I think it makes a lot of sense. I need to clip content so I don't see the double stroke. But yeah, um, I mean, of course I need this to also like have some spacing in between. Um, this out layout is driving me crazy. Let's maybe do, this is like very hacky, you know. There are ways, better ways to do this. But let's use the same description for the talk in here and, and see what it could look like. I need a, a way to close it. So maybe there's an X in the corner, close. No, expand when hover, I agree. That's the worst thing. I wanted to expand on click. I am never gonna make things expand on hover, that is like a no-no. If you guys do it in your life, stop doing it. It's not fun because you go on top of things and they just change in size. That's not, that's really not fun. So you'll see I'm running into a problem where everything has auto layout on this thing. So what I need to do is, oh, uh, I'll paste it outside, move it, hold, space bar so that it doesn't get into this group. You'll see what I'm gonna do here, but I'm gonna put it here, random placing, I don't mind too much now. And then I'm gonna select it all and group it <laughs> so that, yeah, so that it's auto, outside of all the auto layout dialogue. Um, yeah, I agree, it's just bad UX. Don't make things expand on hover. Um, how old am I? I don't know why this is relevant, but I'm almost 30. Uh, let's see, if there is not a lot of info to show, don't show pop-ups. I also agree with this. I also agree with this. I don't like when we're using pop-ups when there's not a lot of information, but in this case, we could add the whole speaker, um, what's it called, summary. And one other thing that we could do that's maybe, I don't know if it's useful or if it's like something that people don't need, is have something like design talk or like the type of talk that it is, because we have different types of speakers and different types of talks. So this could be like design talk, uh, maybe it's like a subtext kind of thing and there's uh, like an icon maybe. Like, do we have an icon for design? No. <laughs> um, I'll put a smiley face. I'll put a smiley face and I'll figure out an icon, but it could very much be, oh, come on, you guys group yourselves. And zero, you come this way, yes, this way. Something like this, where also the icon is gray. Uh, let's see, can I do that? Yes. Something like that, maybe next to the title. Like maybe this is up here. Maybe. 
I don't know. I need to figure out the spacing. The spacing is like just messed up because of auto layout. So I'll, I'll need to do it, but I want to try it on top of here. So let's just duplicate this to this place. Now we, the way we do overlays usually at Dropbox is we have a, just a default color to darken the overlay and we just put it, oh, come on, on the whole screen, uh, like this. Now, like, you know, be creative with your mind and think that I have it over the whole page. I just want to give this a try and see if it looks good. Where did it paste it? Oh, on top of it. Great. Uh, X, B, great. So if I'm like scrolling here, clicking on the talk about something really cool. Actually, let's make it talk about something really cool so that I know it's a title. Um, how does it feel? If I'm clicking and I get some more information, is it enough more information? Hmm, I guess I need the time as well. So maybe this becomes another thing where we group these two. These become like a eight difference. And it's like, it's nine a.m. PST. And this becomes another type of icon. Maybe it's like a calendar. Oh, layers, calendar. Maybe imagine that the smiley is actually something that makes sense with design and these could be closer. Something like that. Is that enough information to warrant a modal? Maybe you need colors uh, on the modal. I don't know. This is maybe just me, but I'm a big fan of like just very simple very simple UIs with not a lot of colors. You know what, what makes it weird here for me? This is small, like this is very small in my opinion. I think it should be bigger. Like it, it's either like the text is too small or it's too, I don't know, it feels small to me. If I look at it at 100%, like it works great in product, but when there's like Big bright text. Oh no, what happened to you? <laughs> what happened to you? No. Sorry, friend. That's why I didn't put you in auto layout and I'm regretting it already. Yeah, anyway. This, oh, that's why I'm not seeing the layers. If this was centered, oh no, not you, the whole thing. Do I really need to make it a frame to center it? Whatever. Um, it's like, I want you to do this when I hit center. Whatever. Um, yeah. Let me see in the chat what you guys think. I was always told to use models only when absolutely necessary and I stick to it. I mean, that's good practice in general. Drop shadow on the model. I think it has it already. No, it doesn't, maybe? Oh, wait, let me choose the dialogue. Oh, I, hit, I think it has a shadow. Yeah, it has a shadow already. It's very faint. But I, I like that it's faint. We don't use big shadows at Dropbox. And in general, like, if you look at the rest of the website, the hover states I'm thinking are like coloring things up. We don't have a lot of elevation. I like things to be flat. That's kind of the style that we use at Dropbox. So people will, will be familiar with that. Um, but yeah, I'll keep this as like a secondary option. But I also am not like a big fan of this where it clicks and it expands because it doesn't give you a lot of information. And it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to build on a dumb like website builder like Squarespace. Maybe the model is a little easier. 
I'm almost thinking I should just do this in Webflow. I wonder if it's easier. Maybe it's a future live stream for next week. I should have something ready by Tuesday, so I'll probably like do something very simple uh, first. But am I, yeah, I'm messing up that part. Um, but maybe eventually I should make this in Webflow before the conference so that people can look at the schedule now and like save their calendars. Uh, but by the time that the conference is here in two weeks, I can build the Webflow one. That could be a good idea. I'm just going to remove the rulers. We don't need you anymore. I think I don't mind this as option two, basically, like the model. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, this is a mess. Okay, I'll make it a group. Like this is basically option two, just seen as a bigger thing. What else? Like it could be, I don't want to take to a new page. That's a no. Like I, I don't want to create another page for this. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people are asking, do you really need the modal? Maybe. Mm. I will think about it. I think I can add more information that people may need. Like maybe the link is like extended and it tells you whether that's a Zoom link or some other tool that we're using. Maybe we could be using that for that or drop down arrow that displays extra info. My worry with that is that it may conflict with the arrow that I want to show on hover. And for those who have just joined, this is the type of interaction that I wanted on hover. I wanted to like highlight here. This becomes basically clickable and don't worry about like the weird, <laughs> Um, the, the weird rectangle showing up here, but I want the arrow to take me to like, yeah, also don't worry about this, but to, to show up, people may not notice. So I may have to have it happen on like on a regular hover and not just hovering down here. Um, but if I have another arrow, like a collapse and expand, Would it be helpful? Like, would I want people to expand more than one talk at a time? They're not going to be two different tracks. So they were going to be subsequent to each other. So there's never going to be two talks at the same time. So they won't have to like compare talks. So I'd rather do like the hover and then click to expand. Then like an arrow, I think. If I can reduce like the visual noise of like arrows going places, I'd love to do that. But again, very subjective. All your suggestions are actually really good. And this is more like, does it fit with the style that I want to give to this website or does it not? And I mean, I don't have a good answer for that, but I think I, think I like this of highlighting and I could make this happen on Squarespace, I think, maybe. <laughs> um, otherwise, I'm just going to do Webflow. But I think I'm pretty much done for the day. I have to have lunch because it's 12.23. Um, let me stay online for a couple more minutes for some final questions. I'm just going to pop it over to me. Thank you all for helping me out. <laughs> I feel like I finally have an idea of what the schedule page will look like, which is the hardest for me. The speakers page, I can, I can make fairly easily. I don't care too much because it's just going to be name, photo, and, and like a description, brief description of the person. Um, but I, I really enjoyed your help and it made it a lot, e a lot easier. Cause I know that if like the 50 or so people that are in this live, live stream are sort of agreeing on one direction for this website, it gives me a bit more confidence that people will like it. <laughs> um, which is at the end of the day, like one of the reasons we do design, we want people to like what we do and be able to use it very easily. So I'm going to stay here like another couple of minutes to answer your questions. Feel free to like ask like random questions, kind of like a ask me anything. I'll answer only to the ones that I can answer, but yeah, this is, this has been fun and feel free to drop off if you don't care about like just me blabbering about random questions. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I think it's been fun. I'll probably do it again. Let's check out the chat. 
Um, let's see. Lots of rage against the pop-up. Like people really don't like pop-ups. Um, thinking of adding avatars beside the name links. Maybe not beside the name links. I don't want it to be chaotic. You see that here, like I'm just sim it's just a very simplified views view where everything has the same time and the same name. When I'm gonna put in real names, it's gonna get messy. And if I also have different images for different people, that's like, no, it's gonna be crazy. Um, let's see, when do you usually live on YouTube? I don't usually live on YouTube. This was my first time ever. So reason why is the stuff that I work on at work, I can't show. So this is really like a bummer and I don't do freelance work. So I don't usually have a lot of design that I can actually show. This is a side project at the company where I'm helping out. Well, I'm leading this conference inside conference, internal conference. Um, and so I could actually show you the designs because it's not something confidential. I wish I had more stuff like this to show you. I'll maybe, I'll, I'll make time for stuff like this. And if not, I'll just do like random designs. Like, so let's redesign this. So let's redesign that together. Um, thank you all for the people who say, who love my videos and my content. I, I, I like making them. And it's just been like a really intense month organizing the conference, which has taken some of my free time away from videos. But I'm, I have some in the works, so um, it's coming, it, stuff is coming. Um, yes, Mario, your idea about the color sidebar was really helpful. Thank you, thank you all. Um, and mobile layout, uh, so if I'm using Squarespace, it's, it comes almost for free. I just like need to toggle it and, and adjust the things here and there. I don't expect it to be too different. Maybe the model could be a little bit problematic on mobile because like it could be like really long. I'll probably make text smaller on mobile because this is really big. Um, but yeah, generally when I do things that are boxy like this, they're easy to translate to mobile in my opinion. When it's stuff where maybe there's like a floating illustration here, floating illustration there, that becomes a little bit harder. Um, Let's see. No, I agree with the pop-up being like the odd thing in a flat design. I totally agree. So maybe I'll do the expand. Um, who knows? I'll let you know on Twitter. Um, did you move to the US for Dropbox? I did not. Um, I moved here for a, my first design job, which was in a small design agency. So from there, then I changed a couple companies and I'm now at Dropbox. But I, changed, I came to the US because I liked tech and I feel like in Italy where I was, there wasn't uh, like a lot of opportunity for it. So that's pretty much it. Um, how do you go about preparing to work for big companies like Dropbox? That's like, to me, a big question. For me, the way I prepared, I had to do smaller companies first. It feels like very, you know, straightforward, but like I had to start from a very small company, an agency, learn there, learn my craft there moved to a product company that was small. And then from there, I learned some of the processes of working with products and not like agency contracts. And then from there, I created a really, really engaging, nice portfolio presentation and tried Dropbox and got hired. I mean, in general, big companies, not all of them will take a chance on a, on a more junior designer. It's just like they pay a ton of money and they probably want to make sure that they invest on like um, someone that has experience. So some, some, it's not always the philosophy, like big companies like Facebook and Google also hire a lot of people out of school, but, uh, companies like Dropbox, Airbnb, or like those that are like a little bit smaller. I feel like in the past, at least they've, they've ten, they've gone to hiring people that are a bit more senior. So I feel like it, it's a safer investment for them. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's like a whole different topic of like how you get into that. Um, it's not easy, especially after COVID companies are not growing. So there's like, yeah, and not, not a lot of open jobs. Um, let's see. Hi, I'm new to web design. I'm a freelance developer. Any good resource available online you can suggest for a beginner like me? 
Um, I So I don't do web design. Usually this is a very um, odd field for me. Uh, I, I started with mobile apps and then I went into like product. Um, so like desktop apps and website, but like the product side of the website. So I, I am unfortunately not very helpful there. Like I don't know like of a central repository of design, but definitely I've learned all I know on YouTube. <laughs> so I'm sure that if you, you search for good YouTubers uh, that can teach web design, that's like a great start and it's free. There's definitely like ways to find paid classes for this stuff, but I, I don't know if it's a... Um, I don't know if it's worth like the first investment. You should probably give it a try on your own, see if you like it. And then like, if you want to improve and get better, then maybe look for other, um, other avenues like in-person classes or like actual like schools. I haven't gone to design school, so I, I also can't recommend, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm really bad at recommending like websites or things. The stuff that I've learned design on doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Like the, the videos that I was watching when I was learning design don't exist anymore. Um, I mean, they probably still exist somewhere on YouTube, but I don't even remember because I wasn't like going to one specific resource. I know that Figma is doing a really good job with their videos and teaching stuff. Um, but um, yeah, let's see some other questions. Is there any chance you can share the Figma file with us to express our ideas too? I can make a duplicate and share it with you. I can't share this specific one because it's on the company's Figma and I can't share that outside. I can make a copy for you guys to try it. I'll, let me do that now actually. Can I make a copy of a Figma file? Did I promise something that I can't do? Let's see, save local copy and then maybe I upload it to my personal one. Did I save a lot? Like, yes, in downloads, yes, save. Now I can just log out. Sorry, you're not seeing my screen, but I'm basically just logging out of my Dropbox Figma. And see if I can create, import it into my personal Figma. I've never done this before. Let's see. How do I? Plus new, oh no, 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 not new. Import maybe, is that an import? Yes, I think I can. I think you guys, I can share this with you so you can play around with it. I think it's doing it. What is a good place for me to share this? Maybe in the chat, maybe in the chat. I, let me see. I'm just going to try with the copy link. Anyone with the copy link can edit, maybe. I can always change it. So if you guys put like bad stuff in there, I'm going to change it. But here's to you testing my um, trust. Let's see. YouTube's chat uh, link to the Figma file. I can put it in the description as well so people can can like see it to a copy of the Figma file. Oh, you know what? It's gonna, it's gonna break for you guys. I can actually not share it because I can't share the fonts. The fonts are proprietary from Dropbox. We had them custom made, so we can't share them out. And I can, I can just link it so you guys can try it and maybe apply your own fonts, but mosquitoes. Um, come on, too many plants bring too many mosquitoes. Always know that when you buy a plant. Um, I'm just going to try with the link. You guys can try it, but I think it's going to break for you. I think it's going to just, uh, not work. Let me know. Um, let's see other questions. Yes. Everyone help each other. I'm also like fighting these mosquitoes. So I'm sorry. This is very distracting. I do still work for Dropbox. I, um, I'm still working there. I really like the team that I'm on and it's really like, we're doing really cool stuff for this year. So I'm really excited for you guys to see what we're gonna build. Um, but yeah, let's see. I think it may be time for me to close this. Um, 
Yeah, I'm. This is not under NDA. The stuff that I shared, I wouldn't have shared it. Like this is really open stuff. You can try. It's working all right. Let me see how many of you are in there. Woo! So many. Are you guys seeing the font? Like, does that work for you? Hello. <laughs> Again, like this is a copy, so this is going to stay up there for you if you guys want to try it. But maybe one thing, I'll just remove the illustrations because we're paying for them. So, I mean, it's just one, whatever, but you know what, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's a PNG. Um, let me see. Big question is, can you see the fonts? It's not serious work, so don't worry. I'm okay with sharing this because it's a, uh, uh, <laughs> it's just a, uh, you know, my time off kind of work. I think we're reaching almost two hours of stream. I mean, technically we're like only one and fifty-one, but that's because I started the live stream fifteen minutes late because I didn't know how to start it. Um, but. I thank you all for following. Thanks for people that are like in the middle of the night at their own time zone. Uh, this has been really fun. Thank you for the help. Uh, I really needed it. Um, I think I'll see you at the next time. Feel free to hang out in the Figma and let me know if it breaks. I may like, I don't know, if it creates problems, I may like cut access in like a month or so or whatever, but um, feel free to hang out in there and maybe get to know each other. I don't know. That could be fun as well. Um, I'll see you on like either my next live or my next video. Good night, everyone, and have a good day for those on uh, Pacific time zone. Bye-bye.